Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from The Purple Alphabet. A lot of times I go into Dollar Tree and I actually wonder, is that thing worth $1.25 or should I pass it? So that's why I do these dollar test videos to see if what is at Dollar Tree is worth your $1.25 or not. I actually did a part one to this not too long ago, so if you haven't watched that video, definitely go back and watch that one after this one because there's even more finds in there. And in today's video, I have a whole new set of things to try out. This is the color appearing tile stickers. It actually came in a couple of different styles. I think there was dinosaurs, animals, the one I picked was the koala, several different ones. And it was a very intriguing purchase because it's a bat toy and it's just an unexpected one. So let me open this up. There are instructions on the back of the package. It says to stick on the tile in the bathroom. Moisture will magically color the blank pictures when showering. Water has dried, it will turn blank again. So this reminds me of Water Wow. The little books that you have the markers and then you color on them and then they turn color and then they reappear. But this time it's for the bath. So we get four in here just look like little decals. Do they tear apart? Are they supposed to come off as stickers? That's the big question. They do. So they're like vinyl. This is pretty neat. You can use this not in the shower, like put this in your car window. So now we need to take this to my vinyl to see if it'll work to the bathtub. But before I do that, I'm going to do the water test. At Dollar Tree, they have these water brush pen sets. So that's what I'm going to use for this. There's already some water in here. And I showed you how to use these like on coloring books and our watercolor books. Anyway, oh yeah, it works. So if you're in the shower and you put water on this, it's not paper, so it won't destroy the rest of it. What a fun way to entertain in the bathtub. So here's my koala. Let him dry and do his thing. We got the lion, and I'll probably speed this up. The elephant and the frog. Which one do you guys like the best? I'm kind of loving the frog although the koala is really cute. So they're supposed to dry back to their clear color. So I'm just gonna hold on to these for the rest of this video and we'll come back after a little bit and see what it looks like afterwards. I'll also try them on the tile of the bathroom. So cool. There were two games that were at Dollar Tree. In fact, this is the first one I found, Real Lies. It's from the company that makes What Do You Mean, which is a really popular game. You can find it at Target and Walmart. And so I found this one and it was the only one. So I was like, is this the only one? Is it supposed to be here? But then in another aisle, I found this one, which is from them, the same company and it's called the road trip game. This is 16 and older replayers, 30 to 90 minute gameplay. And this one says 12 years and up um, as well, which might be a really good find for those older kids that you're trying to ent entertain on road trip. I'm going to do the real lies. I'm not going to go through gameplay. I'm just kind of open up and look at the contents. So it says it's a hilarious party game. Can you guess the truth? The only time making up lies about your friends is a good thing. All right. So we have the instructions in here. We have a scoreboard card, like a notepad. We have a whole bunch of, I guess you use this for your, you're making up your lies and then you have some gameplay cards in here the biggest red flag in a partner is is what's on that one the food i could eat for every single meal is a whole bunch of markers more cards and more cards something i'm looking forward to in the near future is so i have a feeling you're supposed to make up lies and probably guess which one is the lie based upon the card you select it kind of reminds me of the other game I can think of the name of it now where you have the cards and you have to figure out which is the most random one so this looks like it's a legit legitimate game. Test how well you know your friends, but there's a twist. The host of each round fills the blank with the truth about themselves and the other players make up a story about the host. So score points by getting the people to guess your answer. So it's like three lies and a truth. You have to figure out which one is which. The road trip game, it says complete the four points, a deck full of cards, dares, trivias, challenge questions, and more, and play until you reach your destination or until you notice any signs of road trip insanity. <laughs> do not play while driving, it says. Okay, so we have some cards here. I'll just do the two sample ones. It says anyone who has sent a work email on this trip gets a point for their vacation to corporate America. <laughs> this one is lose a point if you've ever been in a car accident. You probably have a story to tell. Very cool. So it looks like we have a deck full of different cards, trivia, quizzes, and just things to do and talk about on a road trip. So if you run into these games, it might be worth a look. These would also be great white elephant gift. Christmas ideas too. For $1.25, you can't go wrong. There were a whole bunch of these little masks and I only saw them in a couple stores. I think they might be coming around because of Halloween. I just arrived right around the corner. This is the Disney Classics Lion King. It says it's layer with stickers, make and wear activities. I was very curious. It looks like a paper mask or maybe like a really thick felt stiff. Well, let's open it up. We'll see. It says it contains one Simba face shape, one elastic band, and one felt sticker sheet. I wanted to see how much we're doing here or if you should just buy a pre-made mask. Okay. It's like a thick cardboard and then the felt are these pieces. Obviously sized for a children's face. Here's the string that holds it all together and then we have the adhesive felt pieces oh oh no okay there we go i guess that goes on the ear 
covers up the artwork though. And then we have, this is the nose. It's always hard to do this stuff on camera. You guys always tell me if I'm doing it wrong though. And then one last piece for the nose. And we tie on the string next. Is this worth $1.25? You know, it does what it's supposed to do. I'm a big believer that when I rate these things, it has to do what it's supposed to do. It was kind of a quick, fun crap, really easy for that preschool age. It's a cute Disney character. Is it worth $1.25? It kind of is. But considering you can buy masks that are already made at Dollar Tree for $1.25 that are a little bit better quality, not paper, you might want to reconsider. If you just think it's really like a fun thing to do and your kids would enjoy it, then it'd be worth $1.25 because all the little pieces are made for you and you don't have to worry about glue and it's just done. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a thumbs up strictly because it does what it's supposed to do and everything's done for you. Next up, we have a new pen from Ink. Now I tested another pen. It was like the 3D effects pen in my last test video and I was not impressed by it. This one caught my eye because it said puffy gel paint. Who doesn't love puffy? We didn't have much luck on the other one. Let's see if this one has a little better features about it. They, they did come in different colors. I ended up with the purple. It says create dimensional works of art, 3D creation, works on most smooth surfaces. Raised ink that makes projects fun. We'll see about that ink. We'll see about that. Okay, I do like the pen itself. Lear got a nice little grip on it. It's pretty. We got the little piece here at the end and we're ready to roll. I need some paper, which I so conveniently have. Now there's the one I did for the, the last pen that we tried. That didn't work out so well. It actually broke. Let's just write purple alphabet. Oh, ink came out fast. Oh, it writes nice. No one judge my handwriting, please. So it comes out pretty well. It writes nicely. I'm looking for the puff. I don't see the puff. I do see a little bit when this big dot that I made. Maybe I should color in a shape or something. Okay, well maybe here. Let me give you a close up so you can kind of see. It's still wet, so it gotta dry, but you can compare it to the writing. I guess what I was expecting is a texture. It's a little bit raised on the writing. I guess what I was expecting is more of a puff, like puff paint, which I guess you really can't expect from a pen because a pen just is used for writing. But now that this one is dry, let me blow on it. All right, maybe raised a little bit, but I wouldn't say it's that substantial. But it is raised a little bit, especially after it dries, but it does take a second to dry. I'm not too impressed. I think it might just be because I'm expecting it to be hit, be like that puff paint feel. Either I'm doing it wrong <laughs> or it doesn't work. So we're gonna have to give this one a thumbs down too. I was really having higher expectations for what it's supposed to do. Sorry, ink pen. I'm trying, I'm trying to like it, but I just can't, thumbs down. These little kits were super cute, not only because they're Sesame Street, Theme, but because of what they're actually supposed to do. This is called the Style Studio with Dough. Sesame Street theme, you're supposed to grow the hair and then you can cut it. And I remember being a kid and loving to cut things, especially when it came to hair. So this is gonna be very interesting to try. Here's what we get inside. We have two dough colors, a brown and a blue for Cookie Monster. Oh yeah, they even have the pictures on here. A pusher that goes into our Cookie Monster. I was like, where are the scissors? The scissors were still in the box. Oh, I got a little play scene. Okay, this is cute. This is cute. Here is our dough scissors, safety scissors. Here is a little stand to stand up our barbershop. Oh, there's a little comb in there too. Okay, here we go. Let's stand up our barbershop because that's pretty darn cute. I'm doing it according to the picture. So here's our barbershop. Elmo's in there. We have a little barber pole. It looks like Sesame Street. That would go, that would stand there. It would somehow stand there. It's not standing there. I probably have to work with it a little bit more. So then we got to put our dough in our cookie monster and uh, make things happen. So let's do that. It's a perfect shape for it already. So I'll slide that in there. And then we got our presser here and then we push. I'm ready for it, totally ready for it. Give me some Cookie Monster hair. Push, 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 push. Suspense is killing me. This is not easy. It's not easy. He's got a little bit of hair now. It's not easy. Okay, we're gonna push again. Harder, harder, harder. Even for me, it might just be because of the angle I'm at. Oh my gosh, this is hard. Holy moly, that took some effort and some hand strength. Now I would use it against the table, but a child's gonna have a lot of difficulty with that. They're gonna need your help in getting that out. Um, maybe it's just the dough that they included, maybe with a different type like Play-Doh would work. It is cute, but it did hurt my hands. So we have our Cookie Monster here. So now it's time to uh, use the accessories. So you can pretend to comb the hair. You're not gonna really comb dough and you can give it a haircut. Cookie Monster's bangs are too long. So let's just try chopping those off. I'm gonna use this as my card that's gonna catch my 
my scraps here. Got the little scissors. Need a little haircut there. A little too long. There we go. Now we can see his eyes. Too long in the back. Cookie Monster. Need a little haircut. Oh yeah, let's trim you up. It works. Kids will just love that. And then when they're done, they can roll up the dough and put it back in and do it over and over again. I like what it does. It's just going to have a hard time pushing it. A child will not be able to do that on their own whatsoever. I mean, I had to push that dough out. Cleanup is probably going to be a little bit of a pain on that, to be honest. But cutting it out, like it's his hair, is actually really cool. Only caveat is the pushing through the dough. But it does what it says. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. You're just going to have to help your child get that dough out. Thumbs up. It's really cute. Let's color your own tablecloth. I found it last minute just the other day. And I wanted to add it to this video. Check it out. Curious to know what kind of material this was. If it was just paper or if it was like a plastic. But it does feel like paper. Rather large. So it's a table placemat covering or a table cover that has all these games on it. Looks like we have a crossword here. We have some fill in the blanks. <laughs> I can't get it straight. All right, here we are. How many vegetables can you spot? Coloring section, I complete the picture, tic-tac-toes. Ooh, mazes, a color by number. This one says I'm thankful for, and you can write it on there. I thought it'd be a really cool thing to put on a Thanksgiving kids table to do either before they have dinner, while they're eating, or after, or just something to do th during the day. And it's nice and large and big, so it's not like a coloring sheet, you know, something a little bit different. So let's go take this over to our table and check it out some more and see how it does with some crayons or markers. Here I have it all unfolded on the table. This is a really large table, so it doesn't fit the whole table. It's very much like a, a glossy paper. It is kind of thin. I can see through it. I have some gray under there I can see through. You can see that the patterns are repeating. So we have a maze here, a maze there, the maze there, they're all the same. So some of the activities are repeated, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Bad thing if you just have one child, but good thing if you want to do something over or if you have multiple children and they want to work on it. I did try out some markers here. I liked the markers and then some crayons here and the crayons, not really the right color here, wait for the tractor. The crayons worked pretty well. Um, I had some older crayons that didn't work so well here. These twistables, they weren't working as well. So I think the best bet is the markers. They show up much more vibrant, but the crayons do work well too. So either one will work or just a pen. So overall, I would have to say that this is pretty cool. I would give this one a thumbs up, maybe even buy a second one for next year too. So these are transparent sticky notes. And in a video I did, it was my Amazon like school finds. I'll have to put it up here in the corner for you to go look. I also showed transparent sticky notes there. This came 300 sheets, 500 sheets per pad. So I wanted to kind of compare it to these. The Jot Brand comes with 100 pieces, and it says it's the same thing, transparent sticky notes. So let's go. So $1.25 for the 100. I don't remember the price on this pack of 300, but there's 50 sheets per pad. I would have to say that these might be just slightly thinner, but not by much. And they're very transparent, but I have to say they're pretty much equivalent. Let's take one off. They stick well. Let's try writing. Easy to write on pretty durable, don't rip like the other ones do. So I would have to say, you guys, this is a really simple one, but you can find these in the store. This one's definitely a thumbs up. They work really, really well, just like these. So here we are in the shower and I have one of our little vinyl tiles. So we're just going to adhere it and see if it stays. And it does, it works. Oh, I, mean, I got a little bit of water this time. <laughs> It sticks much better with water. And then you get it wet and I'll start to change color. Just using the water on my fingers. It's been a few minutes. Let's check on our tiles here. They're about halfway dry. Here's the frog. It took a long time. It's probably gonna take longer than a bath time for these to dry, to be honest with you. If they did dry, it's just taking a long time. And they're going back to white, so you can be able to, here's my pen, do it all over again if you wanted to. I think this is a thumbs up, you guys, for sure. And what a fun thing to do in the bath, or maybe try them on your car window too with a water pen. Total thumbs Thumbs up, get a couple of these, get the different styles. I'm gonna put another video up here on screen for you to go watch next. I'll see you over there. Make sure to click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.